Good evening, Vice uh, Vice President Sara Duterte. May, oh, please uh, take a seat. Members of the cabinet, uh, especially those who are form part of the Philippine delegation on this uh, first trip for this administration, uh, state visit to uh, Jakarta, Indonesia, and to Singapore. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad to be back from Indonesia and Singapore. It, how, however successful and productive this trip was, of course, it is always going to be uh, good to come back home. At uh, lalong lalo na kapag tayo, eh, merong namang magandang balita ng kaunti na sasabihin natin eh, may pasalubong na maaring matanggap natin kapag tayo ay ibinuo natin lahat ng sinimula namin dito sa nakaraan na, uh, na bisita, na state visit na ito. My inaugural state visits to our two important ASEAN neighbors were fruitful and engaging. I met with Indonesian President Joko Widodo to comprehensively discuss our overall bilateral ties with Indonesia. Our conversation covered all facets of our relations, particularly defense, security, maritime cooperation, and of course, trade and investment and people-to-people -people ties. We renewed our commitment to stronger bilateral cooperation as fellow ASEAN members and as members of ASEAN and two and members of, with, as two of the largest maritime nations in the world. We look forward to celebrating our Diamond Jubilee or 75 years of official diplomatic friendship in 2024. Notably, President Widodo and I discussed the delimitation of our boundaries respect to the respective to our continental shelves which I hope can become a template for resolving conflicting claims. We talked about importing fertilizer into the Philippines and increasing coal imports for our energy supply. I also met with President Halima Yaakob and Prime Minister Lee Hsien Long of Singapore. Our conversations highlighted the deep and enduring friendship between our two countries. President Jacob spoke highly of her state visit to the Philippines in 2019, when our country celebrated our Golden Jubilee, or 50 years of diplomatic relations. Prime Minister Lee and I also immediately made a connection as our fathers, who were the leaders of our countries, laid the groundwork for the foundation of ASEAN starting in 1967. The visits also offered us an opportunity to exchange views with the leaders of Indonesia and Singapore on important regional and global issues that affect security in our region. We, are we were cognizant of our roles as neighbors and partners in ASEAN. We all share the view that in this time of geopolitical turmoil and uncertainty, unity, mutual respect, and the principle of sovereign equality should always prevail in our efforts to uphold peace and stability and an environment conducive to our continued national development. Maliban po sa pakikipagpulong sa mga opisyal ng Indonesia at Singapore at pagkuha ng kanilang patuloy na suporta sa ating bansa at sa ating gobyerno, nasaksihang ko rin po ang pagpirma ng mga bilateral agreement na magsusulong ng ating ko kooperasyon sa iba't ibang sektor. The Indonesian President and I witnessed the signing of agreements that will broaden and deepen our ties in all facets of cooperation, from defense, security, to the creative economy, and even to culture. We also agreed to pursue joint activities for the next five years, as our respected foreign ministers signed the Philippines-Indonesia Plan of Action for 2022 to 2027. 
This lays out the priorities and concrete ways forward for our bilateral cooperation. During my state visit to Singapore, Prime Minister Lee and I witnessed the signing and exchange of agreements on counterterrorism, personal data protection, digital cooperation, water resource management, and, of course, investment, all of which contribute to our journey towards development and prosperity. Ako, kasama ng ating economic team, na ay nakipagpulong din sa mga business sector at investor mula sa Indonesia at sa Singapore, at hinikayat natin silang mag-invest sa ating bansa. We met with the members of the different business communities to explain this administration's policies and economic priorities to promote the Philippines as an investment destination. Indonesia and Singapore are key trade and investment partners of the Philippines. More notably, Singapore is our top trading partner in ASEAN and sixth worldwide and our top source of approved investments last year. I am proud to announce that we have signed and sealed a total of 10 letters of intent and 12 MOUs in the sectors of renewable energy, data centers, e-commerce, broadband technology, startups, government housing, and agriculture, and witnessed the signings of several letters of intent and MOUs from 22 Indonesian and Singaporean investors. These investments, if we put it all together, value 14.36 billion US dollars or 804.78 billion Philippine pesos. This will support our country's economic recovery efforts and create more jobs for Filipinos here in our country. I actually have a uh, more detailed breakdown of those numbers which we will include in the final report of the delegation to the country. Ito po ang isa sa mga ipinangako ko nung nakaraang SONA at na isusulong natin ang foreign investment upang lumakas ang ating ekonomiya. Ang lahat ng ito ay para sa ating mga kababayan, dito man sa Pilipinas o sa ibang bansa. That is why I also met with our Filipino communities in Indonesia and Singapore and thank them, not only for their support that led to my electoral victory in the last election, but there's also their significant contribution to our economy and also to assure them that this government will take care of Kahit na wala sila dito sa Pilipinas, sinisigurado ng ating pamahalaan na aalagaan pa rin natin sila. Our kababayans continue to be a source of pride as they demonstrate to the world that Filipinos excel at whatever endeavor they choose to undertake. Indeed, my back-to-back -back visits to Indonesia and Singapore, I think, have been thoroughly worthwhile. So before I end this statement, I reiterate my deepest appreciation to the governments of Indonesia and Singapore for this opportunity to reaffirm our friendship and explore avenues of cooperations that will benefit all of our countries. I also thank our Kababayans in Indonesia and Singapore for their continued support and trust, which will continue to inspire and motivate me to do my best as I steer our country towards development. I would also like to note the hard work that our economic team and the whole of the Philippine delegation put in to, for us to be able to achieve these beginnings that we have, that are manifested by the signed agreements, the LOIs, the MOUs. Alam naman natin, ito ay simula pa lamang. At ito pa ay ang, bina, ang, ang uh, pagsa, pagsasabi ng mga malalaking negosyo na meron silang balak na mag-invest dito sa Pilipinas. Uh, gagawin namin lahat ng inyong pamahalaan. Gagawin lahat ng ating cabinet, mga members of the cabinet. Gagawin natin lahat na itong mga sinimulaan dito sa so una kong state visit ay maging makabuluhan at may itatapos natin hanggang maramdaman na ng pangkaraniwan na taong bayan ang investment na yan 
at mararamdaman kung gaano karami ang dinalang trabaho, gaano karami ang dinala na bagong uh, kita na ibibigay para sa ating mga kababayan. Kaya uh, we look forward to doing the work, the detailed work that is necessary to bring all of these proposals to fruition. And that is what we are all now going to uh, bend ourselves to this work. We will uh, uh, not stop until we can come back and say, itong mga nasimula na MOU, itong mas nasimula na letters of intent, ay nagkaroon na ng resulta. Hanggat, uh, hanggat, uh, on, until, that, until that time, I thank again all of you for the support that we all felt while we were out in our state visit. And I thank everyone, uh, not only the, delegate, the official delegation, but all those who had a part in making this trip a success, a very productive, uh, a, a very productive endeavor, and to strengthen the relationships both on political and economic levels with our two neighbors, Indonesia and Singapore. Maraming maraming salamat po at magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat.